So this is a video on solving quadratic equations by factorising. Uh, this here, as you can see, is a quadratic equation. So why is that? We know it's quadratic because there's a square term there. That's what makes it a quadratic equation. We know it's an equation because there's an equal sign. So we're trying to find some numbers for x that are going to make this equation work. There's a load of different ways of doing it. The way we're going to do it here, here is by factorising. So let's take a look. As ever, we're looking for two numbers here. We're looking for ones that multiply together to give minus 6. And the same two numbers add together to get 5. If you have a wee think about that one, hopefully you'll see that the answers to that one then are going to be, what will they be? They'll be 6 and minus 1. That means we can put those straight into our two brackets. Remember the equals 0 here. It's not like we're just factorising an expression. We're actually solving the equation here. So that's going to be x, what did I say, plus 6, and then x minus 1. The way we go about solving this then, it either means that this bracket must equal 0, or this bracket must equal 0. So that's x plus 6 equals 0, or x minus 1 equals 0. You can set it up like a year 8 thing, take away 6 from both sides. So here x is minus 6, add 1 to both sides, would give us an x equals 1. So the two solutions for this quadratic equation are x equals minus 6 and x equals 1. If you substitute those numbers into this formula, those are the only two numbers and they're going to work. Sorry, not a formula or equation. Let's take a look at a second example. x squared minus 6x plus 8 equals 0. Again, just taking the same format as, as above. We need two numbers that multiply together to give 8 and the same two numbers add together to give minus 6. So again, have a wee think about that one. Um, so if they multiply to give a positive and they add to give a negative, they have to be two negatives. There's no other way of doing this. Um, so it's going to be minus 4 and minus 2. So we're going to go x minus 2 and x minus 4. It doesn't matter which way around you put those. Those are both fine. Again, that either means that x minus 2 equals 0 or x minus 4 equals 0. That's the way we solve these. Uh, that's going to give us then x equals 2 or x equals 4. And those are our two solutions. Just for the sake of it, let's try one to make sure this one actually works. We're going to try the number 4 here. 4 squared would give us 16. Take away 6 times the 4. So that would be minus 24 plus 8. And that does indeed equal 0, so 4 does work. If you try it with 2, it'll work as well. There's no other numbers that would work. Uh, final example then. x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals 0. We need two numbers that multiply together to give us minus 15. And the same two numbers add to give us minus 3. If they multiply to give a negative, um, it must be a positive and a negative. And to add to give us minus 3, we're going to have x minus 5 and let me see what am I doing here I think I maybe got this one wrong how about x minus 5 and sorry yes x plus 3 and um, that means either x minus 5 equals 0 or x plus 3 equals 0 let's move it up so we can see it uh, that means x equals 5, or x equals minus 3. And those are the only two numbers in the entire world that will make um, this equation work. 